Hello there everybody, welcome to another video by me Mr Drone, it is Tuesday the 22nd of October 2024, it's about midday um, and I am here, you'll be able to see the Everton Stadium right there, I'm in a different um, position at the moment, I'm on Walter Street because I'm going to do my uh, midweek video covering your questions and comments but um, there's some that, that um, are based on the, the west stand and southwest corner so I've taken up this position because it's better for me to fly here from this area and keep good eyes on the drone um, when we're doing that area okay um, before we get started I need to touch on um, our um, fundraising that we're doing at the moment for Zoe's Place uh, amazing um, local children's hospice um, that provide palliative and end-of-life care to babies and children aged not to five and respite for their families as well so so important it stays open it's struggling uh, with funding uh, for a new premises it needs to raise funds as soon as possible um, i will share a picture with you now that since i um, asked everybody to, to donate anything they could um, to my buy me a coffee channel we have raised you'll see it here 560 pounds that is just in a week guys since i first asked so uh, last push because by the end of this week I will withdraw that and get it over to Zoe's place okay so last push um, this week please the link is here I'll share it at the end as well um, if we can push that up any more fantastic but obviously I know times are, are hard for, for a lot of people as well so no pressure only do it if you can okay thank you very much though let's get up there and share your uh, questions and comments let's go okay everybody you can see we are up in the air now approaching or looking at and approaching the south east corner looks lovely on a day tight day like today guys right we'll get started with your questions and comments um People, this one's coming to you um, a day earlier than normal as well. I usually try and get these out on Wednesday. It's 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 really nice today. I had a job to do in, in Liverpool as well, but it's uh, it's really nice, good conditions to fly. Um, it, it said over the weekend it was going to be really windy most of this week, but anyway, it's really nice. So I thought, you know what, we'll get here, um, get this one done. But I'm going to bring a video out to you tomorrow as well here uh, because we started looking at doing some um, extra close-ups on it as well so south stand tomorrow which is what we're looking at now anyway first up we've got 903 2004 um, who says and what a three years it's been i've been on every day to see all drones updates my missus thinks i'm not turned into a train spotter yeah i don't think you're the only one saying that mate there's quite um quite a few people i, I meet out on the you know on the road and that whilst i'm doing these jobs say that to me that um people they know said to them why you're watching that all the time and all that um anyway uh, really appreciate so much time and dedication of Nick and the others that come on a bit of a Merseyside side celebrity now I don't I don't know about that mate but anyway you've said great stuff watching history in the making never thought of enjoy so enjoy construction so much on another note just put the bloody last pane of glass in it's bloody irritating me beyond belief up the effing toffees okay so the last pane of glass you were on about there by any chance I'm assuming it was this one. Look at that. If it was that one, you didn't confirm, I think it's that one, because I think that was the only one missing. So we are southeast corner, um, under the barrel cladding there. That one has been missing for a while. Look at that reflection of the water. But it's in, it is there. Is that the one you were on about? Um, on that, it, it looks so much better it has been missing for a while that but on that note as well i also had um another another person top nine there says hi nick another great video and i'm sure your skills just get better and better so please keep it going thanks mate i'm beginning to wonder if lango rock are keeping a piece of the jigsaw puzzle to one side to install as the final piece as a ceremony the piece i'm looking at is the triangular window stroke cladding at the eastern end of the south stand on the upper concourse which still looks like it's filled with plywood so top nana and 903 2004 i'm sure that's what you were you were referring to down there but it's done. Somebody had picked up the fact that it was the last pane that we could see lying on the floor down here um, in my recent videos, but it is now done. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you're on about that. How good's that to see that? Um, I didn't know that was gonna be done as well, by the way. 
So yeah, cheers for that guys, thanks very much. We will move on to JHJL1 who says, at two minutes 52 in my weekend video, this was, there seems to be information panels adjacent to the entrances in the southeast corner. Similarly at northeast corner too. Hard to tell if it is writing or some design pattern. Can you zoom in? Your midweek reconnoitre. Thanks very much. So, I tried to look at this on the video, JHJL, and honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't see it. I did look at exactly the time you were on about. And the, the thing is, when you say, at 2 minutes 52, it was like we were looking, it was when I'd done um, my shot going across. There. But they are, you said, adjacent to the entrances. I'm just, um, struggling a bit. JHJL, could you possibly actually take a screenshot and send to me where you meant, please? Unless it was like down here. No, because it wasn't looking at there. The, I did look at the screen, like I, I put my video to 2 minutes 52. And it was when I basically go across. Here. So I really didn't know where you were on about mate. So I brought the, the comment up to, to specifically ask you. What? exactly what it was please i'd love to know what you spotted i don't know if it's just the writing on the the walls but you said adjacent to and that is the actual entrances so jhl please um for all of our sakes but especially mine can you can you take a screenshot for me and email it to me it's mr drone m-i-s-t-e-r drone ltd at gmail.com i'd be very very grateful um, thanks very much. Or if anybody else knows what he means, um, granted, I sometimes do these videos, and um, as people have said, I, <laughs> I bumble along looking to find what you're on about, and sometimes I miss it, but the rest of you don't. However, as I said, I did specifically look at the, the reference point at 2 minutes 52 of the last video, and I couldn't see it. So anybody else, please let me know, or JHGL, you please let me know. Uh, moving on, I've got Blue Lister, who says, Mate, another incredible video. Thought that frame in Westview out to Mersey was some kind of fencing or structure for decking. It now seems that it's being concreted ready for tiling. If only they could put a big TV screen up, they would pack that bit for, out for a, a ten or a ticket during the matches on the East Stand as well. Marvellous. Um, yeah, OK, so we'll, we'll get up there now. Um, Dunk the Blue has said that... The frames adjacent to the water channel at the bottom of the West Plaza Terrace are having composite decking laid on top, not concrete. They've completed about half of the decking. We've got Blue Lister has replied saying, Dunk the Blue, where's half completed? So we're getting up there now. I'll come further down now as we have a look. Okay. We'll just get up to that corner. And then I'll zoom in. Um, because moving on, Duncan Blue said um, from 6 20, 6 minutes 20 to 6 34 in my last video, you can see they've completed half the composite decking. And that is here, um, Blue Lister. It's what he's saying is. This is composite decking. And you can see quite clearly there, okay, that it's not. I get from, from afar, um, Blue Lister, I, I understand that as, as we looked at it from afar, it may have looked like it was just being concreted in, but it's not. You can see clearly there, it's composite decking, okay. And that's the frame for it. Um, and there you go, you can see there how it's being laid.
Okay, Blue Lister and Dunk. Um, well, Blue Lister of Dunk, thanks very much for your explanation. Uh, continued explanations of things. Really is fantastic. But yeah, we can see clearly there, everybody, that it is decking. Let's look at the end there. It's on quite a frame as well, isn't it? When we look at it down there. Looks great though, such a nice finishing touch to the bottom of those steps. We'll zoom out now and just have a look as we can picture that decking in our in our minds and just look at it sitting there in front of that magnificent stadium. Blue Lister Dunk, thanks very much. Um Blue Lister, I hope that I hope that helped. Um clarify for you, mate. Moving on, I'm turning now to David Badcox. Um, comments because David Badcock has um, done quite a few reference points uh, for us, points of interest um, and David was really really um, good at giving me um, a lot of information to share regarding the, the Brandley Moor Hotel so we'll look at David Badcock's comments here so he's put Nick thanks for your routine dedication no probs points of interest one at 2 minutes 36 there is a fair amount of material now sighted at the south east corner um, what I'll do actually before I go down there David I'll kind of do this backwards almost because I'm up here now and the rest of your comments or a few of them here relate to this end so we'll start at number two here where you say five I'll go back to number one in a bit David by the way five minutes ten we can see that they have completed fitting the 10 meter wide roller shutters on the southwest wind baffle structure which is here So you're saying those roll that's roller shutters in, is it David, yeah? And they are finished and complete. I believe they, they want to just be able to um, shut that due to weather. Is that right? Um, everybody is just if there's like extreme weather they'll just shut that shut that off access to the to the west um, I believe that's why they've got the shutters uh, but thanks very much David that's great and you've said at five number three is at five minutes eleven we can see the tall fencing applied to the edges of the southern isolation bridge which is down there and yes tall fencing either side of the bridge. It's only vehicles that have access to this bridge though, isn't it? Um, pedestrians and that won't have access up there. It's the pedestrians is just down here. So they've, they've still got the, uh, the, the tall, tall fencing just in case people have already been making comments I wonder who will be the, the first fan into the water and all this on a match day so I suppose they've got to have fences all around anyway but um, yeah they are up uh, number 4 at 5 minutes 45 we can see they have started replacing the flags around the lights on the mezzanine halfway along between the southern end and the main west stand portal so ok let's, let's um, take a, a trip over it Start to replace some flags. By the lights down here, is it? Dave, let me read that again. Again, I did look at it and it looked like we were looking up here um, during the video. Around the lights on the mezzanine, halfway along between the southern end and the main west stand portal. Like down there. They are doing flags there. I don't know if they're replacing though, are they? Or no, they're just laying um, the bricks. That doesn't look like replacing. I'll just uh, go up the lights.
This may be something that's just already done, to be fair. Like the like the window at the beginning. Okay, okay, yeah, they, there's ones that are being replaced there. That's a good spot, that, David. That's an absolutely fantastic spot. Uh, was, were there more were there as well? That these all needed doing? And it's just already done. That's a fantastic spot. It's a good eye, that. But yeah, okay, so they're being done, almost done, actually. Um, what, what have we got next? Um, number five at six minutes 02, we can see 24, I think, EV charger stations along the balustrade at the east side of the West Quay. So, 24 electric chargers. Down here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Another fantastic spot. It does look like that. They're covered at the moment, aren't they? Definitely does look like that, though. Zoom out, don't like being close on people working. But David, another fantastic spot. And what else have we got? Um, at 6 minutes 40, we can see they've completed the concrete base for the extra high fence at the northwest end of the site and half install, installed the roller shutter. We are up here half installed the roller shutter door on the larger opening of the wind baffle above the yellow granite set laying machine yeah so that like yellow granite machine it's gone now I'll go um, a bit higher here get further around do us I think as I zoom in that, that uh, entire roller shutter might be in there now David what do you think so just to repeat that you've said we can see they've completed the concrete base for the high fence yeah that's there that high fence where it bends over um, at the northwest end of the site and half installed the roller shutter door in the large opening the wind baffle above the yellow granite set lay machine so yeah the concrete base absolutely David well and that isn't it Remember, this fence is to help with the uh, with the elements because this will be where the uh, the team should be getting off the coach and heading down the tunnel. I thought the coach was stopping there, by the way. Um, and just on like nice days, the team would walk around. But I'm in, I'm informed. I think it was a uh, dunk. The blue said that the coach will actually drive all the way round to here um, on a on a nice day. That's great I didn't realize that I thought it was always stopping there but fantastic information that as well I'm sure it was Dunk that mentioned that in my last video but yeah David that's uh, that's great concrete all done for that fencing and the roller shutter done as well and you've said at 11 Minute five, I think we can see control panels have appeared on the TV camera and commentary platform at the bottom of the upper tier of the West Stand. So let's get over there because we finished now on this West. Let's just get over there. Nice little flight over it. We don't mind having a, a flight over it whilst we get to the right position for our next one, do we? We need to get right over so we can turn around and have a look at this west stand where you said 
David, that you think you can see. Control panel. Ah, yes, there, there, there. I've got it right in shot there. So I just repeat, you've said. I think we see control panels have appeared on the TV camera and commentary platform at the bottom of the upper tier of the West End. And there you go. There's lots of wiring. Lots of wiring there. But that, that there, most certainly does look like control panel, doesn't it? It's another fantastic spot, honestly. This is what these, these videos and the purpose of these videos, the midweek ones, are all about because I, I really can't pick up stuff like this when I'm flying the drone. So to have, uh, to have you all like picking up things like this, it's really good. So we can see where that um, TV and commentary point is there. On that west stand. Like I say, David, another great spot. And now what we'll do, we'll, we'll just move back to um, point one um, of yours. It was over this side. I think we need to be looking at the west, uh, sorry, southeast corner. And just bring it up. You've said that at 2 minutes 36, there is a fair amount of material now sighted at the southeast corner of the plaza, stacked in the middle. Ah, I think the remaining sections of Heritage Rail for the southeast corner. There are also some taller objects sighted just north of the southern tower gates. Um, which I can't identify, but which might just be retractable bollards that are due to be inserted in the threshold of the southernmost tower gate thoroughfare. Okay, so, yeah, that absolutely does look like the remaining heritage rail there, doesn't it? And once again, as I said, another another really, really good spot. That's definitely got to be what that is. Um, the objects that you said that are just north. David, I'm not sure if it, it's not them. You said it could be bollards. Can't exactly see them now, but bet you they're in, they're in shot, and everybody's probably shouting. But uh, but yet I can't see them at the moment unless it's it's these things. But I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Anyway, one thing I will say is that is absolutely the railway. There's no mistake in that. So that's another another great spot, David. So guys, I think we shall finish up there. Oh, actually, actually, it's a light just as I look up. Skippy has asked me. Um, Skippy, who comments quite a lot, sent me a private message and said to me, um, his mum and dad live in Morton, and every single time I do a video of Bramley Moor Dock, he's looking across the river trying to see their flats. It's a 14-storey block of flats, which is almost positive, can be... You can see, but it's not quite sure. It's on Chapel Hill Road. Is there any way you could zoom in that area when you're at Bramley Moor Dock and give me a clue if I'm looking at the correct tall building over there? I really appreciate it. I keep telling my dad, he's 88, that I think he will be able to see the stadium from his balcony because the balcony faces the right way, but maybe not. Okay, so Skippy, that's quite a task. And that's quite a task because I've got to figure out where Morton is. So New Brighton comes across towards Morton will be this way so what we want to try and find first um, Skippy is the Liso lighthouse
hang on a minute, hang on a minute. <laughs> what am I on about? Oh, wait there. No, I'm having a, I'm having a mare there. Lisa Lighthouse is the other side. Skippy, I think you're referring to these. Sorry, I've had a nightmare there. Thinking that we could see the Lisa Lighthouse. Well, we might be able to, but it's certainly not over here. It's there. It's there, I'm looking for it on the wrong side of um, the Whittle Peninsula. I've only lived on the Whittle for 40 years, guys, so bear with me. Um, I think you're referring to these flats, and I don't think that is. I don't think that is them, Skippy, to be honest. They look a bit too inland. For like the Liso Lighthouse is right over there. But then again, there's not many block of flats. Do you know what? I know on Chapel Hill Road there's like some um doctors or something next to it, which is there. Do you know what, Skippy? I think that is it. Sorry for the bumbling round, everybody. Skippy, I think that is it. Okay, but I'm not 100%, but I think it is. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, it's, it's, you know, typical me, isn't it? Look in the wrong place. But anyway, we will finish off there, guys. Skippy, yeah, I think that is the, uh, the your mum and dad's flat there. We will finish off there. Okay guys, so there you go. Um, that was my midweek video covering some of your questions and comments. Um, some really good ones there, I hope you enjoyed it. There were some good things picked up on um, there, especially, I, I must say, by David Badcock, who's picked up on like the, the control panel on that West Ham was a, was a really good one. I enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, like I said in the video, that's what this, this midweek video is about, that, that you can watch on the screen tell me what, what I've missed on my small screen whilst I was doing the video, okay? Um, really appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. Sorry about the end. Trying to find those block of flats for Skippy and <laughs> looking for that Liso lighthouse on the wrong side of the peninsula. It's a shocker, that, isn't it? It's a shocker. As I said, I've only lived on the Willow for 40 years. Jesus. Um, okay, so lastly, um, I'll finish up now, but lastly, um, Zoe's place. Um, we've raised £560. The link is there. Please, anything you can spare, please do it, and I'll get it over to Zoe's place at the end of this week. Thank you very much, everybody.